The U.S. has been in total chaos in the past few days with Black Lives Matter protests, presidential Twitter meltdowns, weak U.S. economic updates, and geopolitical tensions with China, all the while the coronavirus death toll rises to 104,000. With that, it's no surprise that the U.S. dollar didn't receive much love among its forex peers. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. This week, we'll be keeping an eye on what's going on in the U.S. as well as important risk events globally, such as rate decisions from Australia, Canada, and the ECB. On Monday, we'll also be looking at the U.S. manufacturing PMI. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Dollar pair that broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud on Friday and continued its bullish momentum early during Monday's Asian session. This came after the formation of a triple-bottom bullish reversal chart pattern. But while all the signs are now bullish, we could expect a temporary pullback before further gains. The next resistance levels are set at 1.12 and 1.135 respectively. Do you think the new bullish sentiment is here to stay? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.